uh, a person that I keep seeing uh, retweet your things, which I think is uh, fascinating, is uh, Nassim Taleb, who talks all about risk and probabilities and uh, when to panic. Black swan. Yeah. So, was this a, so he declares that this was not a black swan event. Do you agree with that? No. Was, it was not a black swan event. I mean, listen, I, I got interested in this. I have a PhD in human population genetics. Um, I'm an evolutionary biologist, but I took a lot of virology classes. I worked in a virology lab as an undergraduate at MD Anderson. Um, you know, I've been paying attention to this whole field for a long time. I read Laurie Garrett's book, The Coming Plague, which is kind of the Bible of emerging diseases. That came out in 1994. Read it cover to cover as soon as it was released. New York Times bestseller. Um, emerging diseases are fascinating to me. And everybody in the emerging disease community has been saying for years, something like this is going to happen, which is why we have plans in place which apparently in the United States were ignored. And that's the reason why America has been the hardest hit country of all. America has a third of the confirmed infections, but 4.2% of the world's population. I mean, look at the numbers. Why is that? Because literally people chose to ignore what Nassim has called a white swan. You know, we, we knew the black swan was coming and therefore it's a white swan. Some people might call it a gray swan, you know, somewhere in between, like we knew it was coming, but it was uncertain when, but honestly, anybody in the emerging disease community who studies zoonoses like this, anybody who looked at what was going on with SARS in 2002, 2003, MERS in 2012 in the Middle East, my wife has had MERS. We were in Abu Dhabi last year, I was teaching a course at NYU Abu Dhabi. We went to a resort down near the Saudi border. She was snuggling up to some camels the night before we left. She had the flu and pneumonia <laughs> oh, and low shit. oxygen levels. No, 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 but this is serious. MERS is about 30% fatal. And we went into the emergency room at a very nice, you know, quite frankly, upper middle class, you know, Austin hospital. We live in Austin, Texas. And I said to them, you know, you should test for MERS. And they said, what's MERS? And I said, you've got to be freaking kidding. Are you like, literally, I will give you the link to the CDC website. You should be taping up this room with plastic right now because it is a very deadly virus. Anyway, you know, I, yes, I, I think I think Nassim is right. You know, I, this is something we should have known about, but we chose to ignore and so that that's not a black swan. That's an idiotic white swan. <laughs> well, Nassim Taleb has this line, and I'll probably get it wrong, where he talks about um, bureaucracy is a system under which people are conveniently distanced from their own decisions. Um, and I think that we in in many ways, we live in a democracy, but really we live in a in a in a bureaucracy where we're just filled with bureaucrats over bureaucrats, you know, meetings and groups. And uh, so to me, this this situation of why weren't we prepared seemed inevitable. <laughs> <laughs>